Hello everybody, I'm the Anthopel and today we're taking a look at Andil, a nice little picturesque town in the DC wasteland that holds a very dark secret. Let's find out what the secret is. It's located right here, just to the west of the Nuka-Cola plant and to the east of the Ulrich Drive-In. So the town seems normal enough, but I think we have to look at some of the houses before we actually make that decision. So first of all, we're going to go and talk to some of the residents here. Well, hello. Welcome to Andale, winner of the best town in the USA contest. I can't imagine it was much of a contest, considering that they're the only town left in the USA, but she's very well, adamant that they are the bestest. Know. And I didn't really have the heart to put her down. Not here. Not in Andale. No, sir. The great Commonwealth of Virginia is alive and well. In fact, we just voted ourselves a new governor. We never see this governor, but... You're getting the sense these people are kind of fucked up in the head, and that you should get the fuck out of this town. Also, this kid in here. This kid's kind of fucked up, and we're going to see just in a wee minute why. It's swell, except I wish there were more kids, and my dad says I'm going to have to marry smelly old Jenny Wilson someday. He keeps saying stuff to my mom about keeping the family going, and how when him and Mr. Wilson were brothers, they didn't... It's weird. That means Mr. Wilson is my uncle, and Jenny is... something. It means you're an incestuous wee bastard, and your children are going to be inbred. That's what it means. No, I'm only joking. There's not that much of a chance of his ki kids being fucked up with his first cousins, but it makes you think that there's most likely a lot of inbreeding going on for a while here. Then you see this door locked very hard, and it's not the only one in this town, but we're going to come to that later. So next, we're going to go to the Wilson's house. I see old Billy Wilson here, well, hi there. To and he's got a couple Billy of very Wilson. nice things to say, including some things that I agree with. Family, and family first, and any man who says anything different is saying something wrong, and you should hit that man with a stick. See, this is a man I can get behind. So if we go out the back, we can actually find a shed with an also very hard locked door fuck you swing, and at this point you're starting to think something's definitely wrong here, how are these people surviving? So then you're going to go to the last house here, the old crazy bastard's house, Old Man Harris. Now let's go talk to him. What? How? How did you get in here? What are you doing in this town? Get out! Get out while you can! What's wrong? You don't see anything wrong with a quiet little town full of friendly people in the middle of a blasted wasteland? Yeah, okay, so the old man makes a good point. But we're going to go check it out anyway, because we're loaded to the teeth, and, you know, we're kind of cool. So, we're going to pick this very hard locked door, which took me more tries than I'm willing to admit. And then we're going to go in here. So, as you can see, people are hanging dead from the ceiling. They're in cages, there's blood everywhere, there's meat, there's rippers. This was a place where meat was harvested off innocent people. Also this fridge with this weird disappearing bloody handprint. I don't, I don't know why that happens, but... It mesmerized me for quite a while. But anyway, we're going to leave now, and when you do, you're going to get jumped by the collective, well, hick population of this town. Now, obviously, if you're well equipped and well endowed with weaponry, that won't be a problem. And it wasn't for me, but you can get out of it. Hey there, stranger. I got something I want to talk to you about. So, as you can see, you he'll give you a couple of options, he'll intimidate something. you, and you can either kill them all, or if you have speech 87, you can just talk your way out of it, which is usually the easiest way to go. So you tell them you're fine, you're cool with you're cannibalism, right, sure up the cannibalism hey, and all that, and they just let you walk off. Hey and now, if you go back to this house here, Old Man Harris's, you can see that it's actually locked, and he just wants nothing to do with anybody else in this town anymore. So the last place to go to is the very hard lock basement. Something exploded here, no idea what. You will still lose karma if you go in and if you steal any of the meat here, however. But you can get several things off the bodies and you can see that they're in a much fresher state of getting cut the fuck up by these batshit crazy cannibals. So, you can go through them, you can get a couple of things, you can steal a ripper, repair your weaponry, you know, the usual stuff, and then you can get the fuck out. So, yeah, that's Andiel, a creepy town full of murderous, cannibalistic, sort of disillusioned people, well, illusioned, I suppose, 
and children that in about two generations are going to have three eyes and a hump. Yep. So it's one of the maybe more realistic towns within uh, the DC Wasteland because this is what would happen. People would turn to cannibalism. Most cultures do, bar a few select cultures in history. A lot of them turn to cannibalism when food history, uh, food is short. So yeah, I think it's very interesting and I'm pretty sure you probably did as well if you watched this video and got this far. So if you did enjoy the video, drop a like if you want to see more content like this. Subscribe. If you have any feedback, please post it below. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, post it also. And if you want to see any more of my content, go on to my channel and check it out. I've got a shit ton of stuff that you can go and watch. So thank you for watching this video. And it... Uh, 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 shit, I choked. And until next time, goodbye. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, why not drop a like? If you have anything to say to me, anything to ask, anything to, I don't know, suggest for next episode, please leave it in the comment section below. If you want to watch some more of my videos, why not subscribe and get regular updates? Go watch obvious trailer analysis if you want to see me take the piss out of game trailers and have a lot more Fallout lore and more best moments to come. Also, don't forget to share on all the social media that you kids love these days and follow me on Twitter so I can interact with you all a lot more easier because it is faster to do on Twitter and you can ask me any questions that you want to ask. I hope I will see you in the next episode. And until then, goodbye. You dead soon? Because I'll have my fucking way with him.